Patience is a skill that people have been trying to harness for millennia. And yet, society these days tries to fight against a tool that can ultimately bring more peace, acceptance and contentment. Many of us live in a world where we get our wants and desires satisfied at the click of a button with no need to wait at all. But it is in fact waiting that makes the reward at the end even better. My first round of beans got damaged in a storm. My whole little greenhouse fell down and all beans apart from one got lost. So it's time to try again. If growing food has taught me anything, it is the art of patience. In order to be able to finally pick and eat that tomato, I have to go through a long process to be able to taste that one fruit. Sourcing seeds, planting those seeds, providing shelter, watering, checking for pests and damage, eventually moving the plant to bigger ground where it can spread its roots, hoping that the elements or beastie bugs don't bring harm to my developing plant. And finally, after months of care and waiting, hopefully, a little tomato will develop and then more and more. I'm always amazed at how such little things can make such big plants that can provide so much food. There have been years where I've lost my tomatoes to blight or my kale to whitefly and all those efforts have been unrewarded. But we learn and we try again next year. But on those years that the crop has done well, that first bite of a sweet tomato that you taste is worth every second of waiting and patience. And in the end, it's not just patience that you have developed. It is an appreciation for the whole process of producing that fruit. which if only we could apply to our daily lives, might make the whole process of living a lot easier. I'd love to know what you're growing this year, or if you're just thinking about growing something, please let me know. And thank you for taking the time to watch this video.